Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam Pearson and I am a real estate agent in the Charlotte Metro, North Carolina area. If you are new to my channel, please do me a favor and subscribe below. Today I'll be talking about six tips to help a buyer win in this current seller's market that we're in. Now we are experiencing what is known as a seller's market. And what this means is that there are more buyers looking for houses than what is available. Meaning the demand is high, but the supply is very low. This is very beneficial for sellers as they're able to sell their homes quickly and they are able to receive higher offers on the sale of their home. The benefit to a buyer right now is that the interest rates right now are very very low so what this means is the cost to get a mortgage is lower and you'll build up more equity in your home a lot faster the purpose of today's video is to give you six tips on how to make your offer stand out or how to win an offer and this is all based on what I've seen firsthand in working with some of my buyers tip number one hire a good real estate agent the following tips that we're gonna give you, your agent is gonna be able to help you navigate with. So hire a good real estate agent. Tip number two, be ready and willing to jump. And what I mean by this, when you get an email of the, the next home that you would like to go visit or that you like, you need to be ready to go tour that home today. You need to be ready to put in your best offer today. Um, right now, there is no time to wait. You can't put off going to see a house or put an offer in a house, you know, tomorrow, the weekend, or next week. Houses are moving like same day. So you need to be ready to go tour that home today and be ready to put in your best offer. Right now, sellers are receiving multiple offers, so there's no time for counter offers. So you need to talk with your agent and figure out what is going to be the best offer based on the seller's needs or interests. So your agent, if you have a good agent, should reach out to that listing agent to find out what is important to that seller that will make your offer the best offer. Tip number three, you need to be willing to show cash. And what I mean by that here in North Carolina, buyers have to put up due diligence fee and earnest money deposit. Your real estate agent can explain those differences to you, but you need to be willing to bring enough cash on up front to show those sellers that, hey, I am really serious about purchasing your home. So again, that's where you need to get the advice and talk to your agent and see what that is. Tip number four. If you have a home that needs to be sold in order to buy a new home, your current home needs to be under contract before you put in any offers on another home. Contingencies right now in this market are not winning. So if you put in an offer and your home isn't even listed or it's not under contract, that offer is not going to win. So your home needs to be under contract and then when you submit the offer, the agent will submit other documentation to show that your home is under contract, which allows the seller to know, okay, this process will continue to move smoothly. Tip number five is to make sure that you have cash available to bring to the closing table in the event that you run into a low appraisal situation. So because we're in a seller's market, buyers are offering over list or over ask price for home. But when a home appraises lower than the offer price, then a buyer has to either be prepared to pay the difference or your agent could negotiate to bring the offer price down to try to minimize the gap, but then the seller, you know, it's up to the seller whether or not they want to agree. Or there are other steps that an agent can take in order to minimize or lower that gap between the offer price and the appraised price. Anytime that I get ready to start working with my buyers right now, I have the conversation of, hey, right now we're in a seller's market. You're probably gonna have to offer over ask or list price. There could be an issue with the appraisal in the event that it doesn't appraise. How much cash are you willing to bring to the closing table in the event that the home does not appraise and the seller is not willing to negotiate? So when we know these questions and these answers up front, then we can best advise our client on what to do as far as an offer on a home that they might like. So again, 
going back to step number one, hiring a good real estate agent is going to be key right now in the seller's market. Tip number six. So you can submit videos or letters along with your offer um, to assist in helping your offer stand out. And basically what these letters or videos show is like a personal statement about what that seller's home would mean to you and your family or um, some other personal uh, tool that will appeal to the seller's heart to make them choose your offer over someone else's. I've seen that work um, in a couple of situations, but then, you know, there are some situations where the sellers will say, you know, please don't submit any letters, please don't submit any videos. This is just gonna be something that the agent will have to pay attention to um, when it comes to looking at offer instructions. But again, this goes back to having the right agent to make sure they are looking out for all your best interests. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like, subscribe, comment for more content, turn on post notifications, and share. Bye. Great. Right when I hit record, here comes the, the dump trucks. <laughs>